Our next performer is a standout member of the Magic Castle's junior program. This puts him in good company because I was in the junior program as well. So before I begin the elaborate hazing process, let's meet this year's winner for best teenage magician. He's only 15 years old, but he's already a pro. Here's Kyle Eschen. Magic has been my hobby for four years. Some people have other hobbies, like stamp collecting or friendship. <laughs> I shall begin by rolling up my sleeves, which is difficult for me to do because I have a negative perception of my body. <laughs> my first feat of prestidigitation is done with this white silk handkerchief, chosen for its high quality, durability, and the fact that it was 50% off at Target. You may notice I haven't ironed it in days. This is because I'm a rebel at heart. <laughs> I shall shove the handkerchief into my fist with the numerous fingers that I possess. <laughs> my awkward phrasing which delights several members of the audience. <laughs> you may notice as it passes through my hand that the handkerchief is changing. It goes in silk yet it emerges a rayon blend. <laughs> It's a miracle. I used to actually change it yellow, but in this politically correct society, I didn't want to offend anyone who had jaundice. I make a red handkerchief a pair of my typical flamboyant style. Red and blue make purple, so merely stroking the handkerchiefs causes a purple one to appear. Oh. I twirl them in a loose rope-like configuration, and upon pulling on the ends, we find that the three handkerchiefs split into six. Hopefully now you all think more of me as a person. <laughs> it is at this point that I require the assistance of some members from the audience. As I gaze around in a nonchalant fashion. <laughs> you, sir. Let's applaud for him because it's good. Right? <laughs> you may stand right here. Notice I do not ask his name nor shake his hand. This is not because I'm being rude, it's just because I lack the social skills. <laughs> I will hand you three of the handkerchiefs blue, red, and purple, the color of royalty and ruptured blood vessels. Do you mind putting your other hand on top, just like that, so I can't get to it with that awkward interaction? <laughs> I require yet another volunteer. Let's see. Oh, would you like to come on stage? This is unfortunate. Um, I'm sorry. Yes. I, mother wants me to practice this kind of thing. Um, I shall distinguish these handkerchiefs from those by knotting the corners together. I'm sorry if I'm a bit hyper today. Uh, okay. And the next knot, there are two handkerchiefs you may tie, because this is audience participation, which is highly desirable. <laughs> Notice throughout this process, I maintain eye contact with this individual. <laughs> this creates a rapport. Three handkerchiefs tied together with two solid knots. What I'd like you to do is hold them tightly, just like the other male. <laughs> other hand on top. <laughs> what I will now do is absolutely astonishing, which as it should be, after all, it's a magic show, a time where the dreams of children come true. <laughs> I shall make the knotted handkerchiefs. Change places with the unknotted handkerchiefs. I give a gesture of exaggerated concentration. <laughs> and say the magic words, affirmative action. <laughs> and upon saying that, we find that the handkerchiefs over here, which were previously knotted tightly together, 
are now all separate. Thank you. May I go back to your seat? Meaning these are all now tied together. Thank you for your help.